Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck, this time exploring the Underworld Breach combo in the format. And with the addition of Diligent Excavator, the deck is actually quite consistent and can kill pretty quickly. Excavator, a 2 mana 1 3 that says, whenever we cast a historic spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So we can use the Excavator to mill ourselves whenever we cast a historic spell to help put more cards in the graveyard to fuel our Underworld Breach, which will eventually win us the game. The ultimate combo, of course, is with Mox Amber, which is a 0 mana legendary artifact that can add 1 mana of any color among legendary creatures or planeswalkers we control. So if we have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play alongside Mox Amber, it can make 1 mana. Then if we have Diligent Excavator in play, we can play Underworld Breach, which will help us cast a bunch of spells out of the graveyard. Then ideally we have a second copy of Mox Amber waiting in the graveyard. We can cast it, sacrifice the original Mox Amber to the legendary rule, trigger Diligent Excavator to mill ourselves for two. Ideally at some point we find a second Excavator so we can mill ourselves for four, which will help feed the three needed cards to the Underworld Breach. We can keep replaying these Mox Ambers out of the graveyard, milling ourselves with the Excavator, and then uh, generating one mana with Mox Amber every time, which can help us pay for whatever we want to cast out of the graveyard with Underworld Breach. And then at some point, once we're done milling ourselves with Excavator and we have an empty library, we can win the game with either a Thassa's Oracle or a Jace Wielder of Mysteries. So it sounds a little bit complicated, but in practice you get the hang of it pretty quickly. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck. Of course, we've got the full playset of Mox Amber alongside 13 legendary creatures and planeswalkers, which can help us make mana with the Mox Amber. Then we've got the full playset of Witching Well, which helps us scry two when it enters the battlefield. Also an artifact, so it triggers the excavator and then uh, gives us a bit of card selection. Can also later sacrifice it to draw two cards and end up in our graveyard where we can maybe get it back with an Emery. And then the full playset of Soul Guide Lantern, which is a new addition from Theros Beyond Death. Not a very impressive card, but it's a one man artifact that again triggers all the various historic synergies. And then we can also sacrifice it for one mana to draw a card. And it also doubles up as potential graveyard hate if you're somehow playing the mirror match or some other graveyard shenanigan deck. Then at 2 mana we've got the full playset of Diligent Excavator. We really need one copy in play to start comboing, but we can potentially find the second copy of Excavator along the way, so we don't need to have two copies in play right away to start comboing. And then at the full playset of Fibblethup as a nice cheap uh, legendary creature to help us make mana with Mox Amber. Draws a card and of course also Historic, so we'll trigger the Excavator. And then one copy of Thassa's Oracle as a potential win condition. It's possible we don't even need Thassa's Oracle as a win condition and can just rely on Jace Wielder of Mysteries, which has a bit more utility as a card draw engine. But it's nice to have a cheaper option in case we're somehow restricted on mana when we need to win the game. And another win condition, of course, besides Thassa's Oracle and Jace Wielder of Mysteries, is that we can just mill the opponent with Diligent Excavator triggers and uh, just pass a turn and make them draw from an empty library. So that's another way we could potentially win the game as well. And then the full playset of Search for Ascanta, which is also a legendary enchantment, so it does count as a historic spell for the Excavator, but it does not help us make mana with the Mox Amber, so that's the drawback. At the beginning of our upkeep, we can look at the top card of our library, and we can put it into the graveyard if we want to, and then if there are seven or more cards in our graveyard, we can transform Ascanta into the Sunken Ruin, which is a legendary land that has an activated ability, letting us take a look at the top four cards of our library, and we can reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it into our hand. So this is very important at helping us find the Underworld Breach if we didn't draw it already, and can also help us assemble some other combo pieces, like our various Planeswalkers and the Mox Amber. And of course, since we are doing all the self-milling, it's not too difficult to transform Search for Ascanta in this deck, so despite it being legendary, we don't mind having the full playset. And then of course the full playset of Underworld Breach, which we need to combo off, as we can exile three cards from our graveyard to help pay for the escape cost, alongside the mana cost of any card in our graveyard, and then we can cast it. So we can uh, play Mox Amber just by exiling three cards from our graveyard, so it's very easy and cheap to play thanks to the Underworld Breach, and that in combination with Excavator is what makes this deck so consistent and powerful. 
And then the full playset of Emery, Lurker of the Loch, which is also a nice legendary creature for Mox Amber. Cares about artifacts, we've got lots of cheap artifacts in the deck, and also helps us put more cards in the graveyard for Underworld Breach. And of course can also just get back some of our artifacts, like the Mox Amber, Witching Well, and Soul Guide Lantern. And then we have the full playset of Sahili Sublime Artificer, which we're playing over copies of Sai Master Thopterist, mainly because we can find Sahili with Search for Ascanta. Also helps us make red mana with Mox Amber in case we only draw islands somehow, so that can also come up. And then uh, also makes servo tokens whenever we cast a non-creature spell, so it can help protect our life total. And so we also can potentially use the minus two ability to turn a servo into an additional copy of Diligent Excavator, which can also make it easier to combo off with our Underworld Breach. And then finally one copy of Jace Wheeler of Mysteries, another historic legendary card, which is good for Mox Amber and Excavator, and can eventually win the game if we draw a card from an empty library, and also just makes for a nice card draw engine in the more controlling matchups. And then our mana base, 10 islands, 4 mountains, 4 steam vents, and 4 sulfur falls. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. So against the life gain deck, they usually don't have a ton of removal, although a Jani can be quite good against us if they get enough life. Still need to actually draw the Breach, so that's going to be step one. The fact that we're forced to exile a card is kind of a nombo. But I guess sometimes the opponent has a card in their graveyard too. So it's the Angel version. So I guess we'll just play Jace. I guess I just want to make an angel here. If I find Breach, I still don't have Mox Amber in the graveyard, but we do have another Excavator. Alright, there's a breach. So now we just need to find Mox Ambers, and we've got Emery to help us. There's one. So I think I'll go for it. Can play Breach, play Mox Amber, and then still play like a Lantern if needed to keep milling and hope to find. Another Mox Amber here. Right, there's another Mox Amber. So now I can play another Excavator. And then it should be deterministic. Yeah, so if our opponent is aware of how the combo works, 
they could concede at this point unless they have something for one mana, which I doubt. Because two Mox Sambers plus two Excavators means we get to mill our entire deck, make enough mana to play whatever win condition we have, be it Thassa's Oracle or Jace. And I also have a Jace in play, so I could play a random draw effect, like the Lantern 2 to win the game. So we're almost there. Compared to the Cathus combo deck, this goes a lot faster. So we should have plenty of devotion now. Did we find Oracle yet? I guess we didn't. And there's Oracle. So yeah, we went turn two excavator, turn three, played Fubble Thip. Turn 4 we played Jace, and I think turn 5 we played Breach and were able to find the missing combo pieces with Emery. Seems fine. Got plenty of historic cards for uh, Excavator. A third land probably doesn't hurt. The control matchups are probably pretty tough. Need to draw one of our planeswalkers to kind of provide a bit of value. Or a uh, fine search for Ascanta, that's another good one. Maybe they are some sort of reanimator deck. So yeah, this definitely looks like a reanimator. Alright, there's Mox Amber, so... Pretty good chance we can combo next turn, if they don't have interaction. I 
I could decide to chump the Lich to give them one fewer draw step. Also, if they kill Emery, I'll be out of legendary creatures, but I guess I can just replay them. Do I have another excavator? Maybe I don't. Probably keep the Jace, but we have a uh, Oracle as well, so even if Oracle or Jace gets exiled, we still have a backup. Could play the fourth excavator. And then we can play Oracle, and that should be enough. Alright, sweet. So what turn was this? Turn 5 or 6? Well, I guess I don't really want to scry in the mill those cards with Emery, so I'll just play Emery. Would love to find a Mox Amber. So you could play Witching Well out of the graveyards. I guess that's fine. Before playing Sahili, I would prefer to play Sahili and have the mana to play something in the same turn, so we have a blocker at least to protect her. Excavator's pretty important. 
Probably got to keep it. If we find a land, could go Sahili plus Witching Well, could play Excavator plus Search. Otherwise, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna Sahili or Excavator plus Witching Well. Well, we're down to seven already. Emery to draw. So I think I Excavator, play Emery. Hope to find Mox Amber with all these mills. And then we also still need to find Breach. No Mox Ambers. It's unfortunate. Uh, Alright. Pass the turn. Hasty Phoenix. Yeah, that's probably game over here. I'm gonna have to triple chump. Alright, Ascanta, nice pickup. I think I just want to get this in play in case of another uh, Thought Erasure. I guess Sahili makes the most sense. The Thief is also helping flip Ascanta sooner. That's too bad. If I had a fourth land, by the way, I could have sacrificed the Witching Well in response to the search and then flipped the search right away here. But Grixis shouldn't have too much removal for enchantments, so it's fine. Don't think this excavator is surviving, but I should probably run it out. And then the plan is to use Alscanta end of turn to try and find Breach. And then uh, we can maybe combo. I don't think Narsets impedes the combo in any way, but it does make my Lantern weaker. As I'll have to use it in the opponent's turn, but that's okay. So yeah, I need 4 mana essentially for Ascanta. So I can still play Lantern if I want to. This is overwhelming. I'll play the untapped land so we can sack Lantern and use Ascanta. Ugin, it's probably going to be too slow here. 
But yeah, if my opponents happen to get all the copies of uh, Underworld Breach, it's going to be difficult to combo off. Want to wait until end of turn to use my draw effects in case of another Thought Erasure. Alright, that's pretty good too. All right, there's a breach. Probably got to take it. So let's see. Can we do it? There's one excavator in the graveyard I can cast. Yeah, I mean we're pretty close here. Just need another excavator at some point, but we've got a a lot of time to find it. The Mox Amber's in hand. The Emery is in hand too. And there's a second Excavator, so I think we just need another Mox Amber here to get there. Play Emery. And there's a Mox Amber. So that should do it. Alright, sweet. Well, opponent had quite a bit of disruption. Kill my Planeswalker, kill my Excavator. Took away my, uh, what was it at the start? I think we had a breach in hand. So, even through a bit of disruption, we managed to get there. So the search for Ascanta proving to be quite valuable there in helping us find the breach at some point. So, yeah, the deck seems quite good. I could see changing the deck a little bit to make room for a little bit more interaction against the aggressive decks. But uh, we're still a combo deck, so we can't really afford to add a ton of interaction. But uh, like, you could, if you want to be a little bit weaker against control and a bit better against aggro, maybe shave some copies of Search Ross Kanta to make room for a couple interactive spells. Or, um, I don't know, play fewer lanterns. But uh, it's also important to have enough uh, historic spells to enable the excavator to fill the graveyard in the first place. Because that's the cool thing about this deck too, is that we don't need two excavators in play right away to start comboing. If we have one of them or one in the graveyard, we can breach, play one, and then eventually, through all the mill effects, we end up finding the second copy and win. So that's what also makes the deck a lot more powerful. Because if we had to wait until we had two excavators in play to start comboing, we uh, wouldn't be able to combo as early and it would make the deck a lot less consistent as well. The mana base seems fine, didn't really have any lack of red mana. The Mox Amber with Sahili also makes reds, and by the time we're casting Breach, we usually drew a lot of cards already, so... Mana base seemed fine, and ma makes the triple blue on Jace also more reliable if we don't have a ton of mountains in the deck. The split between Jace and Oracle I'm not sure of, could see playing two Jays, could see playing two Oracles. Maybe there are situations where we don't have access to a, as much mana and we would rather have Oracle in the graveyard to get back. In grindier games, Jace can also be a nice card draw engine, so they both have their advantages. Jace also being historic for uh, Excavators, also not irrelevant. And it triggers Sahili, and we can find it with Ascanta. So my first instinct is that Jace is probably the better one, since we usually don't have trouble getting 4 mana with Mox Amber to win the game. But maybe one of each is still okay in case one of them somehow gets exiled. But then we don't even need those to win the game, we can also mill the opponent out with Excavators and just pass a turn and win the game that way. So... 
possible we just need the one win condition and don't even need uh, two. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.